Okay, we want to bring in two very smart guys who make money for their clients. And right now, I, I'm guessing, guys, you're making money. We've got a big rally on our hands. Bruce Biddle is chief investment strategist for Baird. And Christian Magoon is the Amplify ETF CEO whose online retail ETF called iBuy has uh, holdings in a real winner over the past year and a half, and that would be Amazon. Uh, Bruce, what do you make of this rally today after being down four straight days? Yeah, it's a nice recovery. It recovered about half of what we lost um, last week. And I think a lot of it is likely the fact that um, the, the, the possibility of trade wars is, as a result of Trump implementing some tariffs is probably remote. I think the markets are recognizing that. I think that's part of the rally today. Christian, what do you think? What's your best guess on this big? Uh, this is a significant move to the upside, considering we've had 100, 200 point uh, drops over the past couple of days. Yeah, I love the resilience in this market, Liz. It shows that people are still looking to try to buy the dips here. And um, we need more of that if we're able to kind of get to these new highs. There's certainly some um, worries that are creeping in, but it seems like the market's been able to overcome that so far in 2018. I, I want our viewers to know what you are buying for your clients or selling from your clients' portfolios. Bruce, can you, can you kind of give us a sense of what you're lightening up on and what you're going heavy on? Well, we have lightened up on, on some of the dividend players, but pr primarily we're emphasizing those areas of the market, those sectors that are most closely um, associated with the economy and how well it's doing. And that would be the industrials um, and certainly material sectors and, and technology. And those areas are outperforming. We think they'll continue to do so. Well, when you talk about industrials, you know, uh, Boeing and, um, uh, you know, the, Boeing was one of these names that was doing... Uh, terribly over um, beautifully rather and then not so well in a couple of days and and now they're doing super today so united technologies and boeing were going to be hit by a trade war now they must at least investors believe that they won't be yeah that's what i said earlier i think the yeah. odds of a trade war are probably pretty low particularly at, at this juncture anyway so i think that's why the reason for the snapback and and those two issues. Um, Christian, I'm interested to know, because you obviously like retail, Amazon isn't necessarily the whole picture of retail. Do you still believe in any brick and mortar names? Well, I think there's some progressive brick and mortars that are really engaging the online side. Uh, believe it or not, Walmart, I think, is an interesting name. I think there's some interesting optionality in, a, in a Macy's as well as maybe Kohl's uh, doing some strategic partnerships with a company like Amazon. So, uh, you know, I think you could do some bottom fishing in the br brick and mortar area. Um, there's kind of the expectations are so low there that some of these uh, good holiday numbers have been able to bounce them up a little bit as a short term trade. But you're right. We like online retail much better going into the future. I mean, Amazon is just a total and utter winner. It is back up once again, like the rest of the markets. Bruce Biddles, Christian Magoon, our dear and deep thanks to you. Stocks rallying big time.